Army Hearties, it be time for another episode of my movie thing. I <laughs> that'd be Resident Evil Extinction. Now it's not really fair to put this in a Halloween context because it's not really a horror film and it's not really scary. It's more like a cheesy action movie with zombies. The whole thing centers around Mila Jovovich uh, and her character, so let's talk about that for a second. Her character arc is pretty dumb, but I quite like the idea of an army of Milas. Did I give something away? Oh no! It's weird about Mila because it's obvious to me that she's a good action actor and a good actor in general. But all she does is these crappy movies, like all the Resident Evil movies. They do a very strange thing in this movie. When she's up close like this, they make a really, really obvious Photoshop job of sort of smoothing her skin. But they don't do it when she's further away. So it's so extremely obvious and it just looks stupid. Even though the story is stupid and the actors aren't that good and the zombies aren't really scary, it has some pretty good action elements in it. I'm particularly partial to the Hitchcock nod. All in all, this is a blank stare. Saw 4. Now the first Saw film was interesting. It had some horror elements in it uh, that I liked. Like for example the whole distrust thing between the people who are actually trapped together in this room. But since then, the series has quickly degraded into what's just torture porn, or gorno, as they also call it. The cops all have stupid lines, and you don't really feel any kind of a connection with any of the characters. So it's kind of hard for me to... to like this film. It's just a badly written movie, in my opinion. The script is terrible. The plot twist, in the end, is lazy as hell. And it just annoys me. Maybe if you're a Gorno fan, you might like it, but I tried to review it as such, and it's just a frown. 30 Days of Night. This is quite a cool idea, actually. I haven't read the comic yet. Oh, sorry, graphic novel. But I've already ordered it on Amazon, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's just be clear about this. It's nowhere near accurate in terms of what Barrow, Alaska actually is like. But that's not really the point, is it? The vampires arrive as the sun sets for the last time in 30 days. The following feeding frenzy has some really cool uh, helicopter shots in it. And it just looks really awesome. And once there are only a few people left in Barrow, the tone of the film shifts into more of a study of isolation and the effects it has on people. Josh Hartnett is alright, but it's Ben Foster that really catches my eye. He's been catching my eye for a while now, and 310 to Yuma does a really great character as well. The design of the vampires is very interesting, and just a characterization of them. They're not these sexy Dracula types that we're used to. They are more like some ancient beast race than anything else. In the end, I really enjoy this film and I think it just about qualifies for two brows. Sicko. Documentaries are not objective. Very very few documentary filmmakers go into a project without an agenda. Michael Moore takes this to the next level, which I guess you kind of have to do if you want to make a box office smash of a documentary film. So according to Michael Moore, America is nothing but hell and England, France and Cuba are these fairy tale lands where everything is wonderful and everybody's healthy and live to be 500 years old. I don't mind this at all. This is what Michael Moore does to raise awareness around a topic. And that's fine. I just don't like some of the ways that he does it. Like when he takes the people to Guantanamo Bay and he says, I've got some 9-11 rescue workers and they need medical attention. It just kind of makes me cringe. Also, two hours is just too long for a documentary film that wants to reach a broader audience. I mean, I liked King Kong, and I thought this film was too long. Everything put together, I'd say this is a one brow. And now there's nothing but the scariest film of the evening. The Brothers Solomon. This film is so bad, it is the worst piece of crap I have ever seen. It's puerile and stupid, and I left after 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have to give this film... Ah, my eye! Ah! <laughs> For your enjoyment, I've taken a few pictures of the way I set it up for my latest episodes with the extra lights and all. Sometimes I get a bit bored and sometimes I get very bored.